Hi, Elizabeth Statlander, marriage and family therapist and mental health counselor, talking today about the difference between borderline personality disorder and bipolar disorder and why these two are so often confused for the other. Um, it's a very interesting topic and I get this question all the time. Hey, I think I have bipolar disorder. My physician diagnosed me with bipolar disorder. I don't know, what am I gonna do? And I said, well, come in and let me evaluate you. And indeed, you know, my view, they certainly do not have bipolar disorder. They are borderlines. So let's talk about first what each one of them is. So bipolar disorder is considered a mood disorder and is in the mood disorder section of our diagnostic manual. And bipolar disorder is very much like what it sounds like. So we have two polarizations of mood. So instead of being somewhere kind of in the middle, bipolar people cycle from extreme mania, which looks like super energetic, tornado energy, um, don't stop talking, don't sleep, you know, spend tons of money or engage in, you know, extreme um, sexual behaviors or just constantly um, innovating and coming up with ideas and will kind of borderline psychosis. They get like really out there and they can be very paranoid at times too. Okay, so that's mania. And then they'll go from a couple of months of mania plummeting down to severe crippling depression. And that, in a very simple nutshell, is what bipolar disorder is and basically looks like. Borderline personality disorder is a personality disorder different than bipolar disorder, which is a mood slash mental disorder. And borderline personality disorder, as we've discussed in previous posts, is not really treatable. Um, there is some research that says borderlines can be treated with intense therapy. Um, I'm sort of on the fence about that, I, you never know. Um, but bipolar disorder can only be treated, in my personal opinion, with medication, and that's the end of the story. There's no discussion about that. And meds don't really do much for borderlines because it's just a personality, it's the way they are. The reason they get confused is because borderlines are moody as hell. Uh, borderlines can be rageful for no reason, explode. Um, they can feel um, very empty inside for an hour or two and they'll get super depressed and be very, very moody. And then a few months, I mean, excuse me, a few hours later, boom, they're out of it and they're, they're fine. Um, so I think the reason they get confused is because unfortunately, a lot of primary care physicians out there and even a lot of psychiatrists and probably a lot of therapists too, don't know their diagnostics very well. And as soon as they see somebody who comes in and says, oh, well, I'm so moody, oh, boom, you're bipolar. And absolutely not. Bipolar is such extreme behavior that you really can't miss it. And borderlines are people that, you know, like I said, they might have moodiness for a few hours, but not months and months and months, and not to those extreme polarizations. So. Um, they do get confused quite frequently, and I've seen, you know, oh gosh, so many people come into my practice over the years saying, hi Elizabeth, you know, I'm here and I just want you to know I've been diagnosed bipolar, and I can already kind of tell, but, you know, speaking to them, oh, well, you don't, certainly don't, you know, come across like it, but let's do an evaluation, let's, let's see your background, let's see what's going on, and most of the time I find that they were misdiagnosed, that they're really borderline personality disorder people. Um, so just because you're moody does not mean that you're bipolar and just because you're extremely moody doesn't mean you're bipolar. Um, borderline personality is extremely common and is probably prevalent in a, at some level or the other in a, roughly 20% of the population, but I think probably even more. That's what the most recent research says, but I think um, there, it's probably even higher than that. So if you have been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder or bipolar disorder and you're confused and you don't like these labels and you don't understand what's happening or you know somebody with extreme moodiness and you just can't figure it out, you can call me because there's also a lot of other things that present with extreme moodiness. Depression, 
obsessive compulsive personality disorder and ADD, ADHD, OCD, all of the letters, all of the initials um, can, can certainly cause people to be very temperamental and very moody. Um, and just because you're moody and temperamental doesn't mean you have anything. You just might be moody and temperamental, right? It doesn't always have to be a diagnosis. So again, if you've been diagnosed and you're confused or you feel like you might have a, something going on with you and you would like me to evaluate you, very important to do this. Come see me at elistherapist at gmail.com and I look forward to seeing you in my office.